Sarah tag on her head. She is being jeopardized for doing her job to her nation. And the print media shouldn't have given Boko Haram that opportunity to say they are putting a ransom on a federal government employee. And I want to repudiate them for doing that. Having said that, come back to your question. You know, I see cameras everywhere in this country and nobody does security threat analysis before you put the camera. In Abuja today, there is a proliferation of camera on every street. We don't even know if those cameras that came in are made to withstand the harsh weather of Nigeria. We don't even do proper security threat assessment. When we look at National Identity Management Agency, they wanted to create an identification such as the American system, the social security identification. The social security gives you a number at birth or when you apply for it, and you now develop biometrics along the way, which is different. And before social security gives you this number, they already had a warehouse in data bank to warehouse all these records and it is anti-hacking but here we spent 291 million US dollars when Obasanjo was the president for national identity card I'm carrying one it has my thumbprint it has my pictorial on it yet the current agency does not have that record in their data bank fact, so many people don't have it thank you why because you put the cart in front of the horse. But I want to believe that the current management will do the right thing for the country. Is that what uh, NCC is doing? Is it the same thing? No, 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 no. What NCC is doing is illegal. Really? Yes. NCC does not have the right to do biometrics. NCC is not part of Nigerian criminal justice system. What NCC is doing is simple. Opportunity to make money. Someone discovered that NCC had 7 billion naira in their kitty. And they came up with an idea to illegally have a census figure of Nigerians by projecting the ideology of this SIM card registration. So they put a spin twist to it that you do these things to, again, monitor crime being used uh, if when people use their telephone to commit crime are you like condemning you sim can, card registration i'm sorry are you condemning sim card registration i am condemning the biometrics aspect of sim card registration you don't need biometrics the sim card has a serial number you can register it you can ask somebody to submit a passport photograph you don't need a fingerprint and what they have done compared to south africa south africa said to mtn and to uh, um, uh, Airtel, these are the major carriers. You are going to register South Africans at your own expense. You are the providers. And between these two corporations, they spend about 120 million US dollars to do. Why should federal government pay for the registration of SIM cards when the couriers should have done so? NCC will come out and say to you, because of the timeline established, that the couriers say that they could not be able to do this in a year. Therefore, we had to contract consultants. Good idea. Why didn't you ask the consultants to be paid by the courier to help? As I speak to you now, majority of the consultants placed an ad asking for extension. Why? Because some of them who are registering people in the South South have not been able to navigate the creeks. How do you determine an address of someone who lives in the creek? <laughs> Mr. Benetti, huh? uh, initially we thought that was going to help uh, solve uh, some oh, of our security oh. lapses. Uh, look, look, the security agencies have technology the, today. My biometrics it has gone. Is it not even safe? If you go back to your career now and say, find out for me if I'm registered, they will give you a PIN number to call in and they will tell you, oh, you are registered. False. They don't have the back end. They don't have the back end. All the biometrics you give to them are floating, which means that a hacker can hack into the system and take the senior president's fingerprint or biometrics and use it to apply for credit cards in America, and the senior president is embarrassed, which means that the South African security agency can compromise a Nigerian justice for ruling against the South African interest. 
and place him in a place of crime in South Africa. These are facts. And I want NCC to come and tell us that they have the back end to warehouse this system and this hack free. Oh, so wasn't that, anyone okay. thinking at that point in time because there are now oh, millions of data have been co collected already and you say it's even at our own detriment. It is to our own detriment because these things are being warehoused offshore. It's not even on ground. So these things were done hurriedly because of that seven billion. And if EFCC is watching, I would like them to go and find out what happened to that money. Join this question to your next response. Uh, Neil Simone says, why then is government working at cross purposes? Who do we believe? Because the former president, Mr. Bassinger, pr convinced us that the ID card registration will be devoid of errors. Well, the first thing you have to understand is the man himself, does he know how to use the computer? What is his level of knowledge of data? He has been convinced by the spin doctors the same way the spin doctor of NCC have been able to convince Yaradua, convince Jonathan that SIM card registration... Including the is, National Assembly? Look, because they had a heated argument about Look, this. National Assembly members had a rule pulled over their eyes. Oh when you're talking about seven billion, there's a lot of things dangling out there. And let me not use this medium to talk about that. But one thing that I want to bring to fore, which most studios have omitted, is you've never taken time to invite a member of the immigration office to come and talk about first line of security in this issue called terrorism. That you know, you know we, we, that happened during the weekend. Uh, maybe perhaps, at the forum. Uh, yes, yes, at the forum. At maybe the forum. perhaps we should just give you a uh, well, snippet yeah. of what actually happened at the forum. Uh, so you can see you on the yes. Yes. To it. No, what happened in the forum, I saw. Oh, okay. But what I'm trying to say is that when the issue of Boko Haram comes in and people are talking about people crossing the borders okay. to Nigeria, what are the challenges? This is the most maligned agency. People see immigration as just a passport issuing agency. I would like to, Mary Noga has been here countless of times. I would like to see the PRO of immigration come here and discuss the challenges. Right here, Mary Noga talked about the SSS having uh, uh, um, uh, uh, service members in every local government. So does the INS, but there is no infrastructure. Have you been to the border of Nigeria and Bene? Not the official border. The illegal border that was used to smuggle Wole Shoyenka out during the Abacha era. There are no infrastructure. Our border 